Welcome back to Studio 701. There are a lot of talented individuals living in North Dakota, and we like to celebrate the artists, the actors, the dancers here in the state. And taking the Stage 701 today is Mahalia Meese and painter Nicole. So first of all, we'd like to just welcome you to the show. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Hi, Happy thank to you. be here. Now, both these lovely artists have done, have displayed in Art Alley, downtown Bismarck, and Mahalia's latest work, however, is on the corner of Bowen and Washington. Now, these beautiful angel wings, they're the idea for people to pose with them. Now, this project was funded in part by Dakota West Arts Council. So, tell us about the project and how did you come up with this idea, Mahalia? Well, I actually came up with it, this is going on the fourth year. So, like, three years ago when they really started becoming popular around, not even the nation, but the world. They are from, like, in London, there's a big one, L.A., New York. I mean, they're everywhere. Texas has, like, three of them. You know, I really wanted to do it then, and it was a process to find a location to uh, actually find a space to do it. Well, you got a good location there, and you can definitely see when you're driving. I like we have a picture of your niece even helping with this <laughs> painting. If we could pull that up really quickly. Um, Aww, how cute is that? I love Allie. that. So, um, you know, what do you want people to really get out of seeing this piece of art? Well, I love that you showed my niece. Thank you. I mean, right there, too, like, the kids is a big thing I want. Not only for the adults of my hometown community, you know, to bring art and culture, but, you know, for the children to see it and partake in it and to know that one day they could also do that. Um, I also, too, I mean, if you're not comfortable associating with angels, I mean, just find your wings, take flight, mm -hmm. always believe in your dreams and never give up. Yeah. Love it. Now, you have one of my favorites, and that's the cow with ruby slippers <laughs> in the art alley in downtown Bismarck, correct? Right? <laughs> yes, that's that's her. How did you come up with that? Does she have a name? <laughs> you know what she's got? It was, she's a girl. Her name was Oscar. And now I call her Nellie Lowe. And you know what's really weird? I had a vision when I first moved to California, like 11, 12 years ago. I just thought about a cow with ruby red slippers. <laughs> and it was weird that when I moved back and they were doing this art alley, there it was. Yeah. I love Art Alley, and we need to speak with painter Nicole now as well. You also have work featured there in the alley. Let's take a look at your picture, and can you just tell us how long did your piece take to um, finish? Yeah, there? it was a process. Like a lot of the other artists uh, that first summer, uh, we kind of worked over the summer and fit it in where we could. So I started in May and finished in September, uh, just working bits and pieces as I could, and it was really fun to... Uh, you know, they had asked, uh, the Dakota West Arts Council asked for our version of what North Dakota means to you. And so this was, you know, my rendition of uh, home canned, homemade food, canned with love and kind of saved up. So that was really fun to bring to life. Do you do a lot of canning? I'm not the best canner. My mm -hmm. husband's a really good canner. <laughs> um, and so he's helped me with a lot of uh, fun projects like trying to recreate my grandma's pickles and uh, making different jellies and stuff from things that we've picked. So that's been super fun. But it's nice to have somebody that's uh, good at paying attention to all those details. <laughs> right. It makes me hungry as well as admiring the art. Now, you are also doing some fun classes, um, Nicole, that we want to mention that's yeah. including a winter mini pop-up market that's happening at the Nodakian Studios. So tell us about that. Yeah. So um, Shelly is the uh, potter behind Nodakian Studios, and she was uh, kind enough to invite us in. Uh, another uh, artist that will be there is Whitney of Unconventional Cookies, and so she has uh, cookie subscription boxes that are genuinely culinary arts. They're beautiful. Um, so she'll be doing her pickup for her boxes there, um, along with uh, Shelly's uh, ceramics, and then we also have Morningside Heights provisions. They'll be having hot sauces, mustards, and cocktail infusion kits, so a whole swath of different uh, arts will be represented and it'll be really fun. Yeah, it sounds Very fun. Very cool. We love it. And, and Mahalia, really quick, you had mentioned you might have some children's book coming down the line, right? I definitely am. It's not a might, but nice. yes, that's actually something that not many people know, but I've been working very hard on children's books. I have about 13 going, but I've been concentrating on this, the first one that's coming out. 
Okay. And it'll be coming out very soon. Oh. And there's cool. a lot of big surprises with it. Okay. Nice. So. We'll have to have her back for that, Amber. Yes, absolutely. Yes, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you both. We love celebrating artists here in our community and learning a little bit of the, the story behind the artwork, which is really fun. So thank you both for being here. This has been Stage 701. For more information on art in the downtown area, of course, you can visit Facebook.com forward slash Bismarck Alley Art. Love and you. coming up next is our...